Atoms contain three subatomic particles called protons, neutrons and electrons. The protons and neutrons are found in the nucleus at the centre of the atom. The nucleus is much smaller than the atom as a whole. The electrons occupy the rest of the space in a sort of electron cloud. They are arranged in energy levels around the nucleus and for the purposes of understanding, they are drawn in orbits. But this is not the case in reality. Each of the subatomic particles has a relative mass and charge. The proton has a mass of 1 and a relative charge of plus 1. The neutron also has a mass of 1, but surprisingly hence the name, a charge of 0. Finally, the electron has a mass of 0 0.0005, which is negligible, and a charge of minus 1. The number of electrons and protons in an atom are always equal, giving it an overall charge of 0. If an atom loses or gains an electron, it becomes a charged particle called an ion. An early model of the structure of the atom was called the Plum Pudding Model. In this model, the atom was imagined to be a sphere of positive charge, with negatively charged electrons dotted around inside it, like plums in a pudding. A scientist called Ernest Rutherford designed an experiment to test the Plum Pudding Model. A beam of alpha particles was aimed at a very thin sheet of gold foil and the passage was detected. The scientists expected the alpha particles to pass straight through the foil, but something else also happened. Some of the alpha particles emerged from the foil at different angles, and some even came straight back. The scientists realised that the positively charged alpha particles were being repelled and deflected by a tiny concentration of positive charge in the atom. As a result of this experiment, the plum pudding model was replaced by the nuclear model of the atom.